Oh yeah, there, there you are. There you are. Look at this. The sun's out. I hear a, a vehicle way in the distance. When it's quiet like this on cold winter days, you hear gravel crunching under the tires, the rubber. I'm not expecting anybody here at the Sasquatch Ranch. Who could it be? Okay, well, hey, that's a good tie-in to what I'm doing here. I get a million comments. I mean a million. Hey, uh, Mandingo, what, uh, what's your EDC? Your R-E-S-P-C EDC. That stands for everyday carry, if you did not know that. It does not sound for erectile dysfunction. What's the C part? I don't know. Something about that. It does not stand for that. Whatever that C part is. I keep thinking someone's coming, which is good. I mean, not good. It's good because you're going to see my everyday carry. Um, no, this is not my... This is a 6.5 Creedmoor. I don't carry bullets. Well, during hunting season, I do. Uh, here's my... So everyday carry is everything you have on you when you go to the big city. Uh, you're around the property. Who is that? Nobody. Uh, when I'm around the property, I'm carrying a 30-foot Stanley Power Lock. Don't get the girly 25-footer. Get 30. No offense to you girlies. That rhymed. Yeah. Don't get the girly 25. Get the girly 30. So, the girly 30. Uh, let's see, what do I got in my pockets? This is, this is the story. Oh, wait, hang on. One at a time. One at a time. Swiss Army knife. I'm fine. Has a corkscrew. I got a great corkscrew. Guess the movie. I got a great corkscrew. History of the World Part 1. Gregory Hines. It's got a bottle opener for impromptu parties. It's got... I don't know what that Dr. Hook is in the medicine show. No idea. Ah, oh, that's going to break a fingernail. Obviously, I haven't used that blade in a long time. Small little blade there. Boy, almost corkscrew, like I said. Open wine for those impromptus. That's one thing. Okay. Reach deep into the pockets. Here I am again. This is my big lighter. And I have wrapped it. I ordered 50 of these babies, and I wrapped them all with two feet of duct tape. And that's Gorilla duct tape in black. Why do you wrap it? Why do you wrap it in duct tape? Well, in case you need to strap something up, you can, you know, it's that, two, what, two inches wide. And you can tear off little pieces. You never know when you need to make some cordage or um, tape a hole up. Plus, if you need to start a fire... If it's raining, you need to start a fire. Um, oh my God, my back, my balls, am I? That's better, I'm more comfortable. So you can start a fire easily. That It's petroleum, you know? It's like having Dr. Boy, uh, having Boy Scout. Liquid Boy Scout almost, that's oil. Um, so that's it, that's the, uh, you can start a fire easily in the rain and stuff. What else do I got in my pocket? My wallet. My nose is running. There's my wallet. It's one of these jobbies. Gosh, I should get the, I should have the name of this. Orange, so when you lose it, you can spot it. It's got a money clip, and it's got a, I obviously haven't used it in a long time, to slit some throats. There's a dagger deal here. Woo, that's sharp. That goes in and out. Uh, I can't remember the name of this. It was years ago. They're custom made and uh, I want to say in the south, you put your credit cards and all that stuff in there. That's one back pocket. Here's my Dungeness crab measurer. Um, six inches is legal. And for red rock crab, five and a quarter. Maybe that's average. I don't know. I don't care. That was just hijinks. That was just hijinks. I don't care that every day. When I'm crabbing, crab fishing I do though. Recreational. Here is a cigar cutter. I don't smoke cigars anymore. I quit. 
But I thought it'd be really cool to carry this. And if you got in a bind and you had to cut a finger off, this guillotine, I thought that'd be cool to do. I don't know. Rubber gloves. I have a lease with an option to buy. You never know when you have to do some blood work. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, nah. Pepper spray. Spicy treat for those unsavory felons that try to mug you in the parking lot of, I don't know, Best Buy? Somewhere? There it goes. You just flip the lid. Sometimes you flip your lid and you get angry and you just want to spray people. Don't accidentally spray myself in the face, please. I've never been shot with pepper spray. And I don't care to. This is, it fits on your belt, but I found that doesn't really work too good. So I just keep it in my Carhartts. My double need. I'll do a video on double need Carhartts. They got two new brands, which are awesome. Uh, a penis aisle, a pencil, a pencil. Carpenter pencil. You never know when you have to... Hey, it was a dark and stormy night. Someone's coming. And not in a good kind of way, like you'd, like you'd want. Black marker. Has to write stuff. Has to mark things on logs. A uh, seven round... No. Seven round clip, yes, yeah, seven round nine millimeter. Uzi, nine millimeter. Uh, that's an extra, it's not a clip. Oh my God. It is a magazine. Don't ever say clip. You will really PO off. In my gun training days, I mentioned my first day at the gun training, I said clip. And the girl giving me the instructions gave me the evil, I mean evil, I said these are magazines not clips so remember that this is for the heat now here's the heat this is a smith and wesson thank you dirty harry m p shield nine millimeter the new version here the m the it says m 2.0 2.0 and this is loaded there's no safety and drop the clip another Beautiful. I keep one in the pipe at all times. I do not believe in ratcheting in a bullet to save your life. I believe you should have it in the pipe, ready to go, no safety. I've seen plenty of videos on active self-protection, which is I highly recommend on YouTube, where people have lost their lives trying to ratchet back the slide. Do not Take training, get comfortable. Start with one out of the chamber, perhaps. It, once you get comfortable, I know people who still don't do it because they're not comfortable and they haven't had the training. Get the trainings, get some classes under your belt. Gun, conceal weapons 101, get uh, gun pistol handling 101, get all that, keep going. I take, I try to take one a summer. It's not cheap, you know, I mean, well, it can be a hundred bucks sometimes. But at least try to take one a summer at a local gun safety place. Oh, maybe I'll plug them later. I'm not sure. They're awesome, though. But yes, that's how I roll, homie. Easy E. Now, obviously, my finger is always like this when I pull this out. I will not demonstrate sliding a bullet out. I'm going to put it in my Blade Tech holster. And what else do I have? That's it. That's pretty much it. That's my E. R-E-S-P-E-D-C. Everyday carry. And maybe I'll take the... Maybe this will be my everyday carry. Oh, you have to convince me why I need to measure. Oh, six and a quarter. That's legal in Washington State. Six and a quarter. Uh, you tell me. I don't know. No, it is. It's true. I don't lie to you. Okay. I'm still looking over my shoulder. Here I puked out all my my uh, safety stuff to keep unsavory felons away from me, and I'm ready to go. That's why you need to do this. Don't wait. Keep at least pepper spray and a knife. At least, minimum. Please, take care of yourself. There's a lot of freaks out there. I'm not one of them. I'm, I'm a good guy, I swear. 
<laughs> Just what a frequency, right? Okay, Spock out.